one thing I should really say is these two items were utterly delicious. Mm. Creamy. <laughs> Come eat with me. <laughs> hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm here uh, going to try out at a new restaurant called Golden Spoon, which is in Tura Bazaar, and it is in a place called Police Food Corner which is opposite to our police reserve and fire station in Tura. So I'm sure you have not missed seeing this place. I really love the way they have done the interiors and made it really traditional with a grass thatch roof and bamboo walls. This place has a lot of other eatery joints as well, but I'm going to try out this, uh, you know, restaurant and I have this is definitely not my first time here and I have tried out their momos and uh, lemon tea which I really love. This is how it looks on the outside. Yeah, and let's head in. Hello. So we'll just sit somewhere. So as you can see, they have a beautiful interior. Um, lot of wood and they also have an aquarium here so we'll just sit somewhere here I guess so somewhere where the lighting will be good so this is how their menu card looks so let's check out or rather ask what's best so this is a Sunday meal this is a Sunday meal so really looking forward to trying out uh, some of their dishes we have always tried out their momos and lemon tea which is really awesome apart from that i don't think we have tried anything else mm, they have burger sandwich hot dog momos veg items prawns fish pork chicken and then main course is what we are going to try out so i'm going to ask them to recommend and rather try out what they make best right biryani which is really good out of this hyderabad okay one hyderabad chicken biryani uh, one plain rice uh, you have paneer right yes uh, which is good In paneer which one will you recommend spicy or spicy or anything is fine but which is good which one is good kadai paneer kadai paneer okay one kadai paneer First item that we are going to try is this crispy chicken. Isn't it looking so pretty? And the sunlight hitting it makes it really look so bright, red, and beautiful. So this is the first item that I'm gonna put on my plate here. There you go. I'm already slurping. So let's try out the crispy chicken. Mm. It's sweet and it's spicy. Mm. It looks like they have done like thin strips of chicken and then like you know dipped in a batter and then tossed it in this spicy chili mix. Just perfect for today because I have a slight cold and I'm really loving the crunchiness in it. And this is, I guess, almost 15 minutes since it was ready, but really has this amazing crunch. Mm. If you are somebody who don't like superlatively hot. I would say dishes, then please ensure that you inform them to, uh, you know, not to add too much of this chili because it can really, it is really strong. Mm. So I'm going to keep this aside and then try out the paneer dish. 
It's looking so beautiful and pretty. Kind of really happy to be honest because uh, these days you have these kind of items getting done in Tura and uh, yeah even in my last vlog that I have covered was mostly Indian food and of course you have a choice of Chinese and Indian cuisine uh, but I thought why not try out Indian food today and this is how their uh, what you say tawa roti is it's really big sometimes gonna tear it into one third and going to try out this uh, kadai paneer it's been really long since I've tried this dish and it's looking I would say delicious and just like how it should so it's time to dig in and check out how their karai paneer is mm. creamy comforting I should say it's really good and the recommendation that I had was something I've taken it quite seriously and I think people should try out different dishes and let me know which is really good because this was really worth it I should say mm. so most of the time since I go to this me hotels or you know the regular shops this gives a slight break to those kind of dishes which i also love but yeah i love indian food too i just love this karai paneer it's creamy juicy succulent and at the same time really comforting and i'm sure the kids are gonna be really happy trying out this uh, type of paneer other than you know the alu matar paneer what we basically or majorly try at least in the northeastern part of India so I'm going to clean this up the roti is soft and I wish they had naan however since it isn't there I tried this out so now I'm going to help myself with some plain rice The rice is looking really fluffy. I don't think this is basmati or maybe. Oh gosh, my cold. It's kind of really dusty and <coughs> you know dry and so much of weather fluctuation can't help. So take care of your health and wear mask if required. And this is our. What is this? Where is our chicken do piazza? Mutton do piazza. So they gave us some mutton do piazza. I was just wondering that something was missing and this that was it. So going to try out their mutton do piazza. The color is looking really inviting. Ooh. And I can see some peppercorns in it. Mm. with a lot of onions just so you know MJ seems to be a really good chicken do piazza cook but unfortunately in this millions of years that I've been with him I haven't ever tried it so I don't know how it is but the but all his friends in college had claimed that he really makes good chicken do piazza which I have never tried ever so something is pending at his end so I'm going to mix this with some rice and I think the first thing that I'm going to do is basically dig into the meat. There you go, my first mutton do piazza in Tura. Mm. 
the meat is tender and have beautifully amalgamated with the lovely texture of onion and all of the masalas that they have added it really blended well i am in love with it is what i can say mm. who doesn't like onions especially on this winter afternoon and pura weather has really supported to try out some of these rich dishes and last but not the least i must say the meat has uh, you know uh, cooked really well and the masalas have deeply infused into the mutton Okay, kind of little difficult. So maybe I should eat with him. I like the sizes of the meat pieces that they have added. It's kind of medium. This is the first mutton dish I, that I kind of like after coming to Tura for the first time. I mean, at least whenever I have tried outside. Otherwise, it's mostly aloo mutton, Bengali style, which is pretty common. The meat is really tender, and I just chewed the bones. Mm. The mutton really stood out. Uh, and one bite of crispy chicken in between. I'm gonna sip my sweet lime. <laughs> If you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and thank you for all your support and love I really enjoy reading your comments and replying them too I'm also available on Facebook and Instagram so please go ahead and follow me and if you have tried out any of the dishes that I have cooked uh, please go and send me pictures so that you know I can post it and reshare and share the same love and affection and like the taste that we enjoyed and uh, let me know if you have any restaurants that you want me to cover in and around Tura and uh, that's it for now I'm going to try the last dish which is uh, the chicken biryani isn't it looking so pretty and you can say cherry on top I think this is a tomato mm -hmm. eat some more of this mutton before I go to the biryani. I really liked it but the pieces are so huge. So just trying to figure out a smaller one. Okay. Second piece of mutton on my plate. I love the way they have prepared the rice really fluffy and not too dry hmm. it's been quite some time since we tried out some good North Indian dishes and this happens to be one of them I'm so glad that I have tried or have come for this mukbang today because we always ended up only trying out their momos hmm. such a comfort food ah. and I'm sniffing mm. 
one thing I must say that this place is so totally reachable and they are open throughout the week. So bring in your family and friends and come and try out some of the you know wonderful Indian dishes too. And at least the items that I have ordered today are something that I will always save you. Wanna try out Indian food? Come down here. I'm not struggling actually to pull out the meat from the bone. Just see how tender it is. If you have visited Golden Spoon earlier, let me know in the comments what are the dishes that you have tried, what you have liked and what you did not. And that way maybe I, whenever I come next time, you should be able to try some of those items just like what happened to the paneer thing. I don't order paneer generally but this was something to dig in. So going to leave the egg aside. looking so colorful and if I did this fried onions usually they are crispy but uh, it looks a little damp okay trying to snuggle into this meat oh they give tadka as well which is nothing but they have tempered it and this is their Hyderabadi chicken. So this is the second place in Tura when I'm go where I'm going to try out Hyderabadi chicken. Then let's see. They've not uh, they've not uh, provided salan or raita. So it's basically might be a little dry. So please ask for it, and I'm going to do the same. So probably let me check if they can give me some raita. But before that, I can't wait no longer. So I'm going to try out their chicken biryani. Cheers. Mm. Honestly, this is the first time that I'm trying a Hyderabadi chicken biryani, which has been tempered. There's a strong flavor of mustard seeds coming through and this is what it is. It looks slightly black everywhere and uh, what do you say? They have added curry patta in it. The meat is really soft and it comes off. I would say tender. There you go. Ah, I'm sniffing. And there you go. You can see this black spots, right? Which is nothing but your mustard seed. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. What I feel missing in this dish is the flavor of biryani or the aroma that comes from the garam masala or Indian five spice uh, is basically missing is what i would say and uh, it's a nice like you know nice rice item is what i would say but would not want to call it a biryani and uh, the meat is uh, tender which you have seen uh, but authentically this is not a biryani if i were to tell yeah not a hyderabadi biryani at least oh raita yeah thank you so like I was saying, they really missed giving me the raita and thankfully she got it just on time. I didn't have to ask for it. Yeah, so it, 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 it is kind of really oily and obviously biryani is rich but again 
the rice is good but there is no flavor to it is that that's my feedback about their biryani mm. Mm. it just tastes south indian because of the curry leaves and there's a strong flavor of slightly burnt mustard seeds i like the raita which is thick and i would say if you see the consistency is really good and they've added some grated onions chili powder and carrots mm. i'm going to try it with this mutton rogan josh's oh mutton do piazza's piece which was there crispy chicken is crispy will be crispy lives up to its name but i don't know there is a slight change in the spelling it is not c r i p it is c r y p hmm what a twist and with this i come to an end of another beautiful and rich meal which is so comforting which was really comforting and don't worry i'm not going to waste any of this our dinners are ready for today and probably it will spill on to tomorrow's lunch as well i'm full and uh, just so you know let's pack and you know take back home uh, i one thing i should really say is these two items were utterly delicious and i love the crispy chicken their roti was just done right just like how to tawa roti is ah they have lot of options and the price are uh, i would say not reasonable so it's slightly on the higher side because it's a restaurant so please understand that and um, if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and like and share with your friends and i look forward to trying out you know Uh, some amazing meals just like this at a new place so drop in your comments and let me know where i should be heading next for my meal and i really look forward to some of the dishes that all of you have been sending me on my dm and that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video so far see you soon